is our beautiful Valentine. I know there's a lot of people that don't believe in Valentine. And there's a lot of people that say it's a money racket business. But I love Valentine. I know people, there's a lot of people say, but you must have Valentine every day of the week. But that's going to be a little bit boring. You can have happiness. But how to get a, a card and chocolates every day? I don't think that is going to work. So for me, today is truly amazing. I've got two beautiful people here that are a power couple. And I am truly honored that they're going to be here and share us their story and share us their hearts and their delight. I cannot tell you every time I see there's a video on Instagram, I will, I will do nothing on, not put a post on, I will stop and I will go to their video. Their videos is amazing. I love the way that I interact with each other. The other day, Dana was in the in the fridge <laughs> and Jeff was talking to her. And I was, oh, I love it. I love it. So uh, I'm truly excited. I am going to try once more to try and play the video. So my beautiful ladies, let me just see if I, maybe I must take this, uh, this one off. Maybe that's the reason. Let me just see. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, Donna will show me slowly, Sinead, slow. Oh, there you go, my, my bangle. Wow. <laughs> oh, sorry, Donna. Here I go and let us see. I'm Jeff. I'm Donna. And we are Matter and Matter. <laughs> For those of you who don't know us, we, uh, our television show, our books, Donna's programs are all centered around dating and relationships. And we have some exciting news to share with you, Donna. Yeah, it, it is exciting news. <laughs> I, I went to Jeff about, I don't know how many months ago, and I said, I think we should get an app. I think we should have an app. And now we do! And now we do have an app. So, Matter and Matter, you can download that on your Play or App Store. And you can also find it on our website with the same name, Matter yes. and Matter. So, we look forward to getting the chance to meet a lot of you uh, on the app. Have a wonderful day, and we will talk with you soon. Oh, wow. So, my beautiful Donna and Jeff, you, I'm seeing you in the back, but that was not the right video. <laughs> yeah, we go. <laughs> well i hope that you have an amazing first four almost five minutes of the show i would love to ask would you love to take three deep breaths with me then i am going to play my beautiful sponsor jose's video from the cli connect group connectors leaders uh, connected leaders academy and then beautiful Jeff and Donna is also my sponsor for today's show. So I am truly, truly blessed. Bless. Here we go. Exhale. 
Inhaal. Exhaal. Another one in. Exhaal. Amazing. Oh, oh. As Jose Escobar, I live in Washington, D.C. area. I'm a family man. I'm an entrepreneur, coach, author, and speaker. I have communities. I support people. I'm a servant leader, and, and the list goes on. And I'm primarily the CEO of the Connected Leaders Academy. That's what I. That's my bread and butter. That's my core offer, right? That's where I put most of my time and energy. And the Connected Leaders Academy is a growing community. It's a tribe of some of the highest level entrepreneurs from all over the world. We're now over 350 plus members, 42 states across the US and 17 international countries. If you're an entrepreneur out there that's looking to grow personally and professionally, scale your influence, develop your skill sets, move the needle in your business, more money, more clients, right? This is the community for you. Wow, amazing. So my beautiful Dave and Dana, I, I'm not sure, but when I took the glove off and I want to hide my my fingernail that broke. So it's the wrong half, it's the wrong half. So I just want to say, I'm so happy you are here. I said to Dana, my beautiful Dana, you must please excuse me. This month is all about her because yeah. I've invited her to quite a few shows, but I could not think of my any other love expert. And oh, Donna yeah. knows I, I'm asking her now for, for many months to be the Diamond Beauty's love expert. And she said, Sunit, I will come back to you. <laughs> Just as she said, she will come back to me to tell me what's her forever song. And I'm waiting, but I will wait. It's amazing. It's amazing. So, my beautiful Jeff, if I can then ask you if you can introduce yourself and then then just hand hand it to Donna. She can say what she she uh, introduces herself, and then I want you to go back to you and say, what do you love about Donna? And then her to say to for you what she loves about you. Thank you. Well, I don't know if we have enough time in the program for me to really talk about how much I love Donna and why, but I will condense it. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are new to uh, Donna and myself, I'm Jeff Metter. Uh, we are in the United States. Um, my wonderful, beautiful wife, um, she has written a number of books. Uh, she has had live programs. Uh, we're very excited because we have a television show that has been in the works for just right at three years, getting ready to go live uh, on April 1st. And uh, we'll, uh, you, you can get more information uh, on that if you go to our, our app, and Donna will tell you about that a little bit later. But we are very excited to be here. We're excited to be uh, on your program, and we are humbled, uh, and we just feel very blessed that you've given us this opportunity to touch hearts, touch lives, uh, and thank you so much. This is uh, my very, very wonderful, beautiful wife, Donna. Donna? Thank you, sweetheart. First of all, I want you to know, have I ever been that choir for that long? <laughs> I want to hear more about me. <laughs> Jenny, I love you. You are a miracle in the making, girlfriend. Yes. You are doing it, and we're all doing it. And it's very exciting to come together on this mission. Yes. So thank you for that. Yes. Yeah, Jeff, wait, I didn't hear more details about why he loves me. Is that what you want? Do you want details about why he loves me? Come on, okay, go and meet my beautiful Donna. <laughs> well, um, uh, one of the one of the areas I, I it really does touch my heart. This this woman is the most amazing woman I've ever known. I can honestly say, I have never heard one thing come out of her mouth uh, about somebody else that was in a negative fashion. There have been times when I've had things come out of my mouth about somebody and I would be like, oh, they're an idiot. And she's like, now you don't know the journey they've been on to put them in the place they're in. So let's show them mercy and love and we'll pray for them and we'll let God touch them 
and uh, but they're on their journey. So let's and so she's she's her heart is always in such a beautiful place. Um, a real quick story. One time, uh, the three uh, my three children, uh, Donna and I, have been married now for five years. Uh, her late husband passed away seven years ago, but uh, I have three children. We were sitting around the table. And Donna says, oh, I, I, we were talking about someone. And Donna said, oh, I love her. And my son goes, no offense, Donna, but you love everybody. Wow. <laughs> and so, yeah, she, uh, that's just one of, the, uh, one of the many, many things, which I will bring out more things as the program goes along. But we'll go back to Donna. When I can't sleep at night, I say, will you tell me a story? And I want the story to circle around me. <laughs> we have so much fun together. And I, and I do want to share that um, meeting Jeff has been a life changer for me. I, I was not looking for love. I was just getting back out there after my heartbreaking and uh, when I met him, I swear, Sonny, I was like, who are you? Like, he knew, he, to this day, he still knows. He, kn he knew <laughs> then and he knows now so much about so much. And I never met a man who was so mindful about me and my journey and what I was going through. And I'm telling you, I think that Jeff, after, we, after he discovered me on the app, which we can share that in a little bit because it was a total guidance by a divine guidance. Yeah. Uh, I was not looking for love. He was not looking today. And here we are, right? Married. <laughs> <laughs> and it was divine intervention for it sure. Was. But was. he was so mindful about the ache and the pain I was going through. And I was a widow moving forward, doing my best to figure life out. And I told him, I didn't think we were on the same page. I said, <laughs> you're looking for love. I'm healing. And he said, no, I, I think we're more on the same page than you think. And I was willing to just go and have a cigar at the time I smoked cigars. I don't anymore, but I was willing to just do that to meet him. And he said, no, I'm taking you to dinner. And it was one of the nicest dates I'd ever went on. And that date lasted six hours. I went against my own rules, but I had good reason. I had good reason now, to go against my own rules. Now, when she says her rules, she had literally written the book on dating called Dating, It's Not Personal. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Um, we have had, I mean, thousands of women tell her that this book has changed their lives. Uh, and it has. It, it, she's a great writer. I don't say that just because she's my wife. I say that because I'm a prolific reader, and I've read a lot of books, and she's an excellent writer. She just draws you in. Well, you are, hon. You really are. <laughs> and she draws you in, but she also takes you down a path that is, is very clearly marked. If you're going through a forest and you want to get to a certain point on the other side, or even if you're just out hiking on a trail, it's really helpful when the trail is well marked. True. And you get to a fork and, the, and it says, okay, you're on Pike's Trail, go left. <laughs> We've been out hiking before and you come to a fork and there's no markings and you're like, okay, well, I, I don't know which way to go. And her and her books, there's there's no ambiguity. There's no, which way is she meaning? No, it's very clearly laid out. And if you simply follow the system that she has created through uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, um, you will uh, basically have a better life. Yeah. Well, it's so much fun because <laughs> Jeff, I, all right, so you want to hear the story about how we... Inter, 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 divine intervention got us together? Yes, but before you tell us that, my I, my I ring the bell. Oh, ring the bell. I forget what it means. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> ring. My beautiful Jeff, in the olden days, you got chocolates or sweeties and you got <laughs> cushions and all the different type of thing to say. Love is doiki, doiki, doiki. So, for you, what love is doiki doiki? Give us the doiki doiki doiki. Well, the ultimate definition of love is God is love. But when you look at God's heart, then you really have an opportunity to see that his heart is for us. He gives. He, he's, he, he's not a taker. And so if you are truly 
going to walk in love, then you're going to walk in a life of giving and wanting to share and minister to your significant other and to everyone else around you. So I would say that true love is a life of giving. Yeah. Oh, I love can I talk now or do I have to wait for the bell? <laughs> Ring the bell! Ring the bell! Donna, I want to talk. I want to talk. I want to say that this is so cool. I will say when you're with the right person that's going to uh, support you, guide you, and, and lift you up into your dreams. Uh, it works both ways. Yeah. And I, yeah. so a couple things, <laughs> love, I do like dark chocolate, uh, and jewelry. Um, but, uh, but I also love the fact that Jeff and I, without speaking about it, without identifying it, we innately give to each other. It, mm -hmm. It's fascinating. I, we've never been with somebody who wants to give as much as we both want to give. So we're both givers. And in but our just for the record, I want to give more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh it's a beautiful world to live in a place where you're constantly giving so i need mean, it's like you and i right i said i i love your mission i want to give to you and then you're like well you didn't say well okay she gave to me i'm gonna give to her there's none of that it's just like the energy is flowing and we want to just be giving and lifting each other up and how powerful is that well, when, it's, when it's in a relationship? And also the giving is not just physical things. Sometimes it is. Yeah. Sometimes I get her jewelry. Sometimes I do get her, her dark chocolate. I get her flowers every week. Uh, I could go on and things, but the most important things to give is your time, your attention, your undivided attention. Um, when we talk, I'm not on my phone. I'm not over here reading. I'm not doing this. There have been times, a number of times, I've been reading a book I'm really into. And when she walks in, I will literally close it and sit it down and then look at her to let her know you always, always have my undivided attention. I love and it. So. What a beautiful day, Jane. <laughs> that is a big thing because most of the time, us as women feel. But mm. if I speak to my husband, it goes in here. But if you don't put your hand in front th on this side, it will go through to the other side. Mm -hmm. And you, you would not have heard what you said. But I yeah. loved it because you actually are giving attention when she needed that. I love yeah. it. You are amazing. Every time I put my glasses on is when I get goosebumps. So I must <laughs> have got a lot of goosebumps this far. <laughs> and I, I want to share with you a secret word that we have discovered works for us. And we've learned a lot along the way in the time yeah. that we've been together. But this one word is sort of, it resonates with both of us. And when something is on our heart that we want to talk about, we don't want to say, I need to talk to you. That's like, well, what is that, right? Well, are we? So we say, I'll say, honey, do you have? Can you can you dialogue with me? Can, can we you, have some dialogue? Can we have some and, dialogue? And that word dialogue that alerts me that okay, this is something that's it's not just you know I got the mail. Right. <laughs> Would you take out the garbage? Dialogue <laughs> tells me that there's something on her heart that that's important to my baby. Yeah. And if it's important to her, it should be important to me. So that's when I'll close that book. That's when I'll, I'll basically turn away from the computer. That's when I'll put the phone down. This is going to be dialogue. This is something that is it's on her heart. It's something important to her. And it might be about someone else. It might be about, um, but whatever it is, it doesn't make any difference what it is. When I hear dialogue, now she's raised that bar up to where I understand this is important to her. And it's a two-way conversation. It's not yeah. me telling him something. It's saying, hey, I'm working through this. What do you think? It's, it's a dialogue. There's no yeah. uh, definite solution at the predetermined. Yeah. It's I want a dialogue because yeah. I need some brainstorming time here. Um, now, I'm, there are those times when you just come up and say, I just need to vent. Right. And I do that to her more than she does it to me. Uh, I still have a full-time job. I put in roughly 12 hour days. It's a, it's a high level uh, management job it can be very stressful. And sometimes I, she knows I just need to vent. And once I, I, 
and it's not even bad stuff. It's just the 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 pressure of the day is just it's riding on my shoulders still, and I need to get it off. And if I just talk about it for ten minutes, uh, and usually I'll call her on the way home from work, and as I'm driving, we talk about it. When I get home, it's it's done, and we go on with our lives. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, and if, and if it needs to go on longer, it's okay too. Yeah. Right? I love it. I love it. That's so beautiful. So my beautiful uh, Jeff and Dana, can I now pl properly play your video? <laughs> uh, I love the video you made. It's beautiful. And Dana, you said I can just glitterify because I love to glitterify everything. Us women love glitter. And I can tell you something, Jeff. Men also love glitter, but they will not say it, but they love to look at it. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. 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 I'm Jeff. I'm Donna. And we are Matter and Matter! Matter. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know us, we, uh, our television show, our books, Donna's programs are all centered around dating and relationships. And we have some exciting news to share with you, Donna. Yeah, it, it is exciting news. <laughs> I, I went to Jeff about, I don't know how many months ago, and I said, I think we should get an app. I think we should have an app. And Th now we do. And now we do <laughs> have an app. So Metter and Metter, you can download that on your Play or App Store. And you can also find it on our website with the same name, yes. Better and Better. So we look forward to getting the chance to meet a lot of you uh, on the app. Have a wonderful day, and we will talk with you soon. <laughs> wow. I couldn't do the pictures at the end because you, the video, I, I, I'm only allowed 55 seconds, but it came out beautifully. And did you notice the sparkles went up? And not coming down. Did you notice? I noticed, but I didn't know that was deliberate. Thank you. <laughs> going up because I want I want you to keep on doing what you are doing. So I'm sending it to the angels and to the and to God and the universe. And I want they must then come and <laughs> transmute and send it to everybody all around the world. Yes, and now I do have my both. <laughs> so my beautiful Jeff and Dana, can you tell us about this amazing app? I did quickly download it today because I wanted that picture to add into your front, you know, with the um, photo. So please, can you tell us about your app? Oh, thank you. Well, let me just say something first. What's so exciting is that you discovered, well, you, we, we met networking. And then you went into our Instagram and you started seeing things about our interactions. Well, what we're doing is we're taking those interactions and we're putting them in the app. So the app is free to download. We have a lot of free, generous resources for not only single women looking for love in all the wrong places, but couples <laughs> who want to reignite their, their connection. And so as we roll out more things, because every day we're working on programs, on courses, we'll upload it and then people will have the opportunity to stay up to date with what we're doing and keep in touch with our antics and our yeah. bantering and our, our love messages because all the little tips we're giving today, Sandy, is what we're about. We're like this in real life. Yeah, this oh yeah, this is how we are all the time. <laughs> yeah, when there's no cameras rolling, we're still doing this. <laughs> now, uh, like one of the things on the app uh, and I don't even know if it's been installed yet or not, but it's 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 slated to be. Um, I when we talk to couples, I, I, I usually talk to the men, and one of the things I tell them, um, look, you you married this woman partly because you think she's she's good looking, she's a beautiful woman, and you know that uh, you know. For instance, I'll just my wife is a beautiful Italian woman. And all of her life, she's had guys, oh, you're so beautiful, you're so beautiful, you're hot. And even though that's true, I want her to know that not only do I think she's beautiful, but I love her because of who she is. Mm -hmm. And so I began to write a list of character qualities. And I try to every day, I go down my list and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to use this one today. And so then what I will say is like, 
like um, today, Donna is, I, I, she's a courageous woman. This is a very courageous woman. And I tell her why, but like one of the things on the app, I have a list of, I think it's 365 different character qualities that you can pull from. Now I've told the, uh, when we do our TV show, I, I tell the guys, look, don't say something that's on the list if it's not really her. Don't say, hey, I think you're sassy if she's not. But always compliment her on part of her character, not just the way she looks, but also on her character. Now, by the way, man, if you're not complimenting your significant other on the way she looks, start. Start. <laughs> Find something that you say, well, we've been together 30 years and she's gained a lot of weight. Well, so have you there, bucko. <laughs> But the fact is, you still can find something to say, baby, I love your eyes. Your eyes, they, they, they stole my heart 30 years ago, and they're still stealing my heart today. There's always something you can find that will minister to her on the way she looks. But also, you want her to know the reason that you love her, the reason that you're staying with her, the reason that you are going to make things better and better and work harder and work harder to have a better life is because of who she is, not just what she is. So, Thank you. and again, that will be on the app to where you can go on and get that list. And so there's a lot of things that we're providing for single women, single men, yeah. married couples, uh, couples that have been together, again, that you, you, you with your significant other. So there's, we're trying, well, it's just an extension of, of what our hearts are to, uh, to how, how to minister to people. So. And, and actually, the <laughs> app is the place to go. Yeah. Because we have done so much over the years, and now I'm grabbing all these pieces that are all <laughs> over the place, and I'm putting them in the app, including your podcast, The Man Behind the Power. Mm -hmm. So in t every time somebody downloads the app, they're just going to be notified when the new things are being uploaded, and they can watch it or not, and yeah. so forth. And we're really excited about this. <laughs> I also want to share... Um, how important it is to stay tuned into your partner. Yeah. We go through things and um, it's easy to get caught up in life of just keep going through things, but we yeah. don't realize what independently we're going through. And this yeah. morning, I'm going to share the story sure. Sure. this morning. We were, uh, we got up, it was lovely. We had coffee. We're sitting down. Jeff gets out his guitar and he's playing for me. And all of a sudden I am, overwhelmed with grief because I just, uh, we just had to um, put our dog down about two months ago. And I'll write about this and we, there'll be, there might even be a song about this someday, <laughs> but I, I think what caught me off guard was that I went through the grieving process with my late husband. So I didn't think I was going to be hit this hard with the loss of my little dog. Now, I want you to understand, I believe our spirits live on. I don't think that she, you know, like I don't, I feel good about that. In other words, I feel really good about what the afterlife is about. And still, he's playing a beautiful song and I'm singing and all of a sudden my, t and then I'm, all I can think of is don't cry. You're going to be all puffy for the show later. <laughs> and I start, I'm bawling, I'm bawling and, uh, he saw me and he said, are you, are you thinking about our baby? And I said, yes. And I, and he just stopped playing and he came over and held me because I'm still processing why that's affecting me that way when I went through something which I considered far more painful. So well, it's, it's a process. It was far more painful, but the fact is this little seven pound Yorkie was there when Pietro left. And here she is grieving and this itsy bitsy cute little dog is there loving on her, there for her the whole time. Uh, she'd lay on her bed, Luigina would jump up, get right next to her, and she could feel Donna grieving, and so she was wanting to bring comfort. And so for before I came into the picture, Luigina was really her a, a huge source of her comfort. And, and that was really probably the last real connection with Pietro. Mm -hmm that Donna had. So it's not just the loss of Luigina, our dog. It's, it's, it's a cutting, the final cutting of a tie with her late husband, Pietro. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, most of the time, 
you know, she's going along, she's fine. But every now and then something will trigger something. And so again, for me, it's an opportunity to go over and love on her, to be there for her and to support her. And again, that's that's part of our message to couples. You be there no matter what it is, good or bad. Uh, you know, if, if I get a, a promotion, well, we're both happy. Why? And she supports me in it. Now, that also means I'm probably going to be working a little bit more. But the fact is, we support each other, no matter what it is, good yeah. or difficult. Yeah, or difficult. Yeah. And I do love that. And I will say that, um, thank you so much for that, baby, because... You're quite welcome. Um, I didn't see it coming. I was sitting there enjoying his music, and I became overwhelmed with Just a heartache. Out of the blue. Out of the blue. Yeah. And... Um, we're there for each other. Yeah. And when I have women come to me and say, I don't want to, you know, why aren't you dating? And they say, well, I, I, you know, there's no good men out there or, <laughs> or, or, or they're all the good ones are taken or I don't, I, I don't want to lose my independence. And I say to them, I am a strong and independent woman. Very. And I am stronger and more independent with Jeff by my side. Yeah. And I think that's, what the message we give out for yeah, both of us, for right? Both of us. Oh, yeah. for both of for us. Both yeah. of us so. I mean, I'm a strong man. I'm an alpha male, but I am so much stronger when she's by my side. Um, in, in the Old Testament, um, basically, it says that one shall put a thousand to flight, but two, ten thousand. And it's that principle of 10x. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's been around forever. It's been here since the beginning. And the fact is, She's powerful. I'm powerful by ourselves. But you put us together, it's not just doubling the power. It's times 10. Yeah. So when you can get in sync with somebody, especially that you love and that you're you're, you're basically in a long-term relationship with, it's an extraordinarily powerful, powerful thing. Yeah. And uh, it's, ex it's an, an exciting place to be with this woman here. Mwah. Honey, I want those glasses that she has. <laughs> I will find you a pair. I will get them. Yeah. Those glasses wow. are coming back home. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. You, you know what? You know what? 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 Beautiful. Because you can sense and tap into her. And I know there's a lot of women that really are seeking that as well. Um, mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's amazing. For me, Seeing the two of you today and knowing how you interact with, with each other, I could not think of any other couple to celebrate Valentine's with us. So may I ask you, my beautiful Jeff, what do you have got a special, remember this time it's uh, leap year, so I don't know, maybe I must ask Dana, did you do a surprise for Jeff or will Jeff do the surprise for you for your Valentine's Day? Dave. We will tell you the next time we're on your show because if I say now, it won't be a surprise, will it? Okay, so you are organizing, but you know it's a leap year. No, so not at all. Yeah. Nothing planned. Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, I have to say I've got a story going on, which, and I'm not saying it's correct at all, uh, but it works for us, uh, which is Valentine's Day is a woman's holiday. Yeah. Um, I certainly always acknowledge Jeff, like every day, not a day goes by that I don't sit, when I get up and I'm getting into my happy place of a cup of coffee, maybe sitting in front of the fire, I send him an email thanking yeah. him for this amazing life he has provided for us, for me. I thank him for all the work he does. I remind him to remember who he is. Yeah. And so I always want to tell him what I'm doing, what I'm up to and how much <laughs> I love and adore uh, him and our life that we're creating yeah. together. That being said, when it comes to <laughs> I want those glasses. Um, when, I, when it comes to Valentine's Day, interestingly enough, I always just, I mean, aside from a card, I always felt um, it was where a man shows his love for a woman. I'm not right. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying it works for us. He never cried that I didn't get him anything. Did you ever get upset that I never got him? Because no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> So, but I heard my girlfriend one time just a couple of weeks ago said, oh, I'm going to get so-and-so a gift for Valentine's Day. And I'm like, oh, am I supposed to get him a gift for Valentine's yeah, Day? Yeah, so Glock 9 mil. No, I'm joking. <laughs> he wants a, yeah. So isn't that interesting? And I wonder if there's different cultures in different countries that do that differently. I don't know. But yeah, that's, no, life is good. Do you, do you want me to... 
to tell no. you what I've got for No, that? no, I don't. I love surprises. No, she can have it. We're going to do an <laughs> ant farm. Yeah. <laughs> no, Not. You, you can come always come back and tell us how it went. So please don't spoil the surprise. Don't spoil the surprise. <laughs> now, are no, you but, ready? I would like to say something real quick. It's important. One of the things that we're constantly telling people is you have to know your language of love. And there are different languages. There's five different ones that people speak. Mine is acts of service. So in the morning before I leave for work, I always make sure that I clean the stovetop because she's done the cooking. So I clean it to where it's spotless. And then because it's winter, I, I put a fire. I get it all ready for her in the fireplace. I've got the starter log and the wood. I've got paper all the way around it. So all she has to do is start it so she can enjoy the fire uh, when she's getting ready to send me the email. Now, don't, don't tell her too much. Now, Sanit knows this because she watches our Instagram and she sees a few snippets. But all of this, these are tip, great, great, wonderful tips uh, for the men and women out there. Yeah. And we will uh, we'll be that'll be part of our app as well. Yeah, a lot more than that. You know, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. lots of them. So. So my, my beautiful Jeff and Donna, I had the intention for today's show. I wanted us to have an amazing show. Yes. I wanted to let the world see hope and love because a lot of people hope for a better life with love. Tick, we can see it, we can feel it, we can experience it. And then for me, I would love to see that your TV show is going to inspire the world. So can you quickly tell us about that? Well, it's our whole heart, both of our hearts, is to, is to touch other people's hearts, touch their lives, and we want to bring intimacy back into relationships. We want people that have... A lot of people have been together 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years more. And for a lot of people, what happened was, is, you know, you got married, you were young, you had two or three children. And when you had that first child, all of your attention, all of both of your attention started going to the, ch to, to the children. And here it is 20 years later, and that routine is still the routine. And so we want to remind couples, you know, that little flame that was actually a forest fire when you were first dating and you got married, you can reignite that. You can bring that back in and it might be a little different, but now, now it's going to be, it can be richer, deeper, more meaningful than it's ever, ever been. And it's going to be richer and deeper and more meaningful than you ever really truly believed anything could. And so that is our heart. That's what our show's about. Right. That is what uh, Donna's books and her programs are about. That's what my programs are about to, to, to men. Yeah. It's um, reignite, reignite yeah. that fire yeah. that used to be there yeah. and uh, really begin to live life the way you always wanted to way back when you first got started. Yeah. I have something to say about that. Can I say something? Yes. <laughs> Unless you want to put on glasses right now. You want to put it in? <laughs> Not yet. Okay. I love that. Yes to everything. And when I think back at why I started to write this book, mm -hmm. literally, this is 2004. I'm 42 at the time going out to date. And the one thing that I realized was missing was, and what, what, what I wanted to help change or bring into the light was that women did not understand their self value yeah. Yeah. when it came to relationships. I was one of them, yeah. by the way, I was one of them. So I started to read, I started to read all the books that you see up on the cabinet there, <laughs> men are from Mars, the rules. I read them all and something was missing for me. And it was the fact that women didn't understand their value. See, we talk about a lot of this when it comes to business, but we don't talk about this when we come to relationships. Yeah. And from a from a 15 year old, I, I yearned for that type of good relationship and I had to learn through it, gain confidence. I had to go through all of that. Right yeah. now, I say that to say, number one, all the things we talk about, how we believe that 
people can ignite this fire again in the relationship. But we know they can. Right. But it comes down to, do they want to? Yes. And are we in a place of receiving? See, what I have noticed is that I hear so much stories from especially women who, who have all the reasons why they're not open to it anymore. So this comes down to, well, if you're not open to it because of something your ex did or something your husband did or something you went through, then all the love in the world is not going to touch you because you're not going to be open yeah. to it. You won't see it. You won't feel it when it passes you by. So well, I'm all about helping that open up. Well, and again, one of the pillars of our show is personal development. If you're not working on yourself, nothing's going to change. If you are expecting things in your life to change and you're not working on yourself to change, guess what? <laughs> Nothing's going to change. Nothing so nothing does. And if it does change, it doesn't change for the better. Right. It's, it's getting more stale. It's getting more uh, confrontational, things of that nature. Right. So first and foremost, and Donna really is the one that, that brought this to my, uh, to my attention, to my heart. She's really the one that taught me the importance of personal development, uh, of reading good books, of listening to people like yourself people like Donna that have a message exactly that it is a message of not only love, but self appreciation, right. self love, mm -hmm. self growth, self discovery, self discovery. And it, we could just go on and on and on. And you are absolutely right. If, if the person, they have to be in a place where they want to receive it. They have to be in a place where they want their marriage to be better. Um, I've told a number of, of, of my clients uh, at work, uh, I have suppliers and, and I've told them about what our show is about. And I, it, it's, it's literally, I can't count the number of, of the men that have sat there across the desk from me and they would pause sometimes for 20, 30 seconds. And then they would look up and they would say, I need to watch your show. When it comes out, let me know. Because I mean, I love my wife. We've been together 20 years, but it's, I said, it's, it's become routine. And they're like, yes. And, and, and none of us, let me retract that. Most of us don't want to live in a routine. Right. We want to live fulfilling life. And that's what God created us to do. God created us to know him, love him, and to know others and love others and have that one significant other person that we can grow with, walk with, and, and enjoy this life with. And in doing that, we'll touch everything everybody else around us. Yeah. It's exactly. the ripple effect. Yes, the ripple effect. So, Jeff, <clears throat> I know that you're going to sing us a song, but before you do that, I also have sent you an invite to my beautiful Tanzanite Euro. It's my male group. I think there is gentlemen that's waiting for you to hear what you are saying. <laughs> but, you know, if, if when Donna was talking about self-worth or the yes. woman's worth, I think if we can just let the ladies, if the ladies can just get a shake up to know that you cannot change anybody because all our women think we can always make somebody better <clears throat> with our love. In the in the end, we the women are getting hurt because you cannot change anybody except yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And as soon as you learn that when you're accepting yourself with all your your defaults and all your beautifulnessness <laughs> and you love yourself unconditionally that ripple effect will not only affect your relationship but the, the behind children uh, family and even yeah. further yeah. so i love that my beautiful jeff thank you so much so my before we uh, i my before i ask for a song may i ask if i, I quickly ring the bell for me or Donna? I forget why she's ringing the bell. What she's is talking. love? Oh, what is love? Okay, go ahead. Love is doiki doiki doiki, Donna. <laughs> Your turn. Oh, my turn. Love <laughs> is understanding that my shortcomings and your shortcomings are different. Mm. It's really that wait, simple. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I if, love it. If people would understand that everybody's got different shortcomings. Yeah. They would start to enjoy the process of self-growth, the process of dating, the process of getting to know somebody they never knew before, mm -hmm. 
they would start to enjoy life, be more playful. Yeah. Forgiveness, <clears throat> I mean, there's nothing to forgive. We all have shortcomings. So that's, that's my doinky doinky <clears throat> love right there. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. She walks in it. <laughs> I love it. So, Jeff, are you going to play us something? And then what I'm going to do, I am going to remove me out of the studio so that I can have the full of you in camera in the whole uh, uh, scene. So will that be okay? Perfect. Yes, and I want to make sure if you can't hear us, because I don't know if I had to adjust something to get uh, his, you let me, can you hear that? Beautifully. Okay. Beautifully. Okay. 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 <laughs> Here comes the sun, do do Here comes the sun, I say it's all right. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. Little darling, it seems like it since it's been here. Here comes the sun, do do do. Here comes the sun, I say it's all right. Little darling, the smiles returning to their faces. Little darling, it seems like it since it's been here. Here comes the sun, do do do. Here comes the sun, I say it's all right. Sun, 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 Little darling, I feel that ice is slowly melting. Little darling, it seems like since it's been clear. Here comes the sun, do do do. Here comes the sun, I say it's all right. Here comes the sun, do do do. Here comes the sun, I say it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> wow, amazing, amazing. You are beautiful. Your voice is beautiful. I never thought I'm going to keep on smiling. My, my jewel. Wow, amazing. My beautiful Jeff and Donna, can you believe it? We've got three minutes left for the wow. show. Wow. Wow. It was incredible. So, my beautiful Jeff, do you have got one last advice for men out there mm. don't take anything for granted mm. the small things are the big things so be cognizant of the small things be cognizant of if if you're with somebody and you love her and she's important to you make sure you tell her that make sure that you greet her in the morning with a smile and a good morning um, and the last thing that I would say, 
We are big on the love languages. Go to fivelovelanguages.com, take the test, find out what your love language is, find out what your significant other's love language is, and then that's how you're going to minister to that person. So know your love, love language, know theirs, and uh, it will change your life. It will change your life. Oh, thank you, my beautiful Jeff. In the Diamond Moment magazine, I did a beautiful article with beautiful images on the five love languages that so people can also go and watch it there. And yes. you, my beautiful Dana. Oh, you want me to say more? Okay. <laughs> well, you know, what, what last advice can you give women? We've got one minute to go. I'm going to say number one, yes go for the love language understand who you are what you're about yes how you can minister your significant other and what your needs are yes and again if you implement looking for love where it is mm -hmm. and not where it's not you will be light years ahead of the game yes and you'll be happy yeah you want to be happy happy has to come from within <laughs> yes jeff adds to my happiness beyond any uh comprehension that i could have thought but if I wasn't happy to begin with, he could not do that. That's true. And say, and it works both ways. So find out what um, turns you on, makes you happy, uh, spiritual fulfillment and all of that. And then be learn how to be open to love so that you can look in all the right places. Yes. Wow. I love it. My beautiful ladies and gentlemen, did you love the show? I'm sure you didn't know what we have in store for you. Incredible. I have smiled so much. I have put my glasses on so many times. So we will not be going out with a song this time. I hope that you have danced with us while Jeff have sang that beautiful song and played guitar for us. So I want to ask you, it's easy to love others, but you have to start to love yourself unconditionally. And like Dana said, as soon as you love yourself, if you are a whole person and your partner is a whole person and then together, like te like Jeff said, you 10x, you make it such an amazing experience every day because yeah. you are allowing yourself to love on each other. I love that. I love that, that you said, Jeff. So I want to wish you all a beautiful day and a beautiful love week. Enjoy Valentine's Day and um, smile often and keep on dancing, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh.